Hey everyone, my name is Danilo Petrovic. I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Dennis Kudla. I'm Evgeny Donsko. I'm Henry Laksan. I'm Peter Torepko, and, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back one more time. Here we are for the ATP Marbella and ATP Cagliari draw preview. I want to say thanks to everybody who's joining us for this one. If you're new to the channel, don't forget, hit the like button, help us out. And if you're not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for, guys? Hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, join us for uh, some live watch alongs coming up later in the week for this one. So you're excited for this one? Yeah, mate, I actually am. I actually am. There's a, some really good players on show. It's the clay courts. I feel like I've got a bit more experience and knowledge of how ATP players perform on clay rather than WTA players. So it will help slightly, I think. So let's just see how it goes. There's some <laughs> names which I really like as well. Unfortunately, yeah. the qualifications are all done for these but they've not been updated yet on the Tennis Draw Challenge or I don't think they've even been put into the draw. So whether that's going to be done yeah. tomorrow morning or probably in about 20 minutes' time just after we've finished doing it. Um, no but doubt. in the meantime, we can only go with what we've got. I can list off some of the, the qualifiers. I was thinking maybe start with Calorie. Is that all right with you? Yeah, yeah, that's why I was starting anyway. So well done. Great minds. Think alike. So with Calorie... Some people we've had qualified. We've got Liam Brody. That's a good one. Yeah, we've got Jan Yanvier. We've got uh, Summit Nagao, nice. Kovalik, Rodionov, uh, Viola, who beat Nakashima today. We've got Stebby, who beat Matthew, Matthew Ebden. Wow. That's and we've got one. Huesler as well, the guy we've had on the podcast. So there's some really good qualifiers and some dangerous ones. The one that jumps out for me is Liam Brody. He beat uh, Jacobo Berrettini, 6-4, 6-1 today. And he's been playing really well. Yeah. I think he's going to be dangerous. Watch out for Kovalik as well. Beat Jaziri really comfortably. And obviously Stebby, like maybe he's just been more custom. Maybe he's just been saving himself for the clay because he's not been performing on hard. And I've been no. singing his praises for a while, but I still wouldn't want to be playing against him, which is a bit frustrating because some of the qualifiers are really good and we don't know where they're going to be in the draw, but it's we a bit don't. of a free-for-all. Brody could be the one, mate, the one to watch. He obviously had a great... Uh run in the Biela Challenger t uh, tournament where he t well, obviously beat uh, Marchenko in that, in that tournament who has been playing really well recently. Yeah. So that goes to show the sort of standard that he's bringing to, the, to this tournament and that's just in the qualifiers. So it'd be interesting to see who he's pit against in that first round and uh, can he cause an upset? and move his way through the tournament. Uh, good to see some people in the live chat there. We've got Table Tennis in. How you doing? Also, Shane, what's up? Good to see you, bud. And Abasa back in. Uh, and that's from California, Shane the same. And uh, Jordan's back, as always. And uh, we've got James there saying, uh, Liam Tarquin Brody, according to his Wikipedia. A running joke, I think. <laughs> okay, interesting. I like that. I'm sure that he's, uh, hope, as long as he's on board with it. <laughs> We've got some of the usual suspects as well. Melez yeah, is here, George and Thomas Rock. But anyway, let's get on with this one. Um, I just went through some of the qualifiers for the people just joining us. Sorry, you've missed it. You're going to have to go back through. But some of the ones I mentioned was Liam Brody and Stebby. Watch out for them. So let's yep. go through the bracket. If you want to share your well, screen. Good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Sorry, apologies. I've just... Uh, Bring that up. We all these these aren't too big a tournaments. These so we we'll no. just go go for a a quick route through. We got number one seed GB Dan Evans. Love to see that, but don't like the second round much for him. <laughs> <laughs> if he's gonna come up against potentially Lorenzo Massetti yeah. or Dennis Novak. Uh, no, uh, well, no rewards for guessing where I'm going with this one. Same, mate. Lorenzo Massetti in Italy on clay courts. It's just, it's made for him this tournament. I think Calorie is the perfect ATV tournament for Lorenzo Massetti. Yeah. Let's just hope he's not been too fatigued and the limelight's not got to him too much where he's not so focused as what he was. Well, That's my so. only fear, but I think he should be fine. 
I think he should be fine. And I'm actually going to go big here. And as much as I hate to say it for Dan Evans, I'm actually going to have him beating Dan Evans. Ooh, Which, yeah, uh, I'm going to go the same, mate. I'm going to have Massetti beating Evans as well. That's just pure hype. I'm on yeah. the hype train, big time. We are. We both are, mate. And on clay courts, like you say, uh, scary prospects. We've seen how good he's been playing on hard. I feel like I've yeah. got to do it for Thomas Rock as well. He's definitely going to be having Massetti going for it. <laughs> Um, Mele but... saying Brody is greater than Massetti. Well, uh, Brody is really Brody's class. He can do really well in this tournament. He's been playing well as well. I up just don't know where he's going to be in the draw. It's so annoying. I know, up unless, up to... unless does anyone know where the qualifiers are? Maybe it's on the actual official website. I can try and pull it up. Just while you I'll go through a, the draw, have a quick look, mate. See if you can it will be good if up. we know. Because otherwise, yeah, mate, it would be annoying. nice to. It would be nice to. Uh, and know where people are sat in the draw rather than uh, just guessing at it. But uh, unfortunately, we can only do the best. Of yeah, it's not got. on the ATP website. What, on Wikipedia, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if they even show it on there. But anyway, let's uh, let's continue on down. Uh, we've got Massetti. Oh, I've got Massetti being Dan Evans. We've got Federico Gallo. We're given a wild card into this. Uh, well, but not a... Not great to be playing Laszlo Gere. Gere's a very, very good, obviously, clay court player. I'm going to go Laszlo Gere, but Guy goes a clay quarter as well. Yeah, but I'm going to be, be going Gere. Could could cause an upset there. I wouldn't be yep. surprised that could be a banana skin. I'm not surprised he was given the wild card as well. Definitely no. deserves it. Really, we really, really like watching him. He's a very, very, uh, and Elaine saying never count Evo out. I, I, exactly. We could be a. Uh, uh, eating our words on this podcast, definitely. But we're on the Massetti hype train and uh, we're not stopping at Station Evans. We're uh, hopefully going to be uh, riding it off into the uh, sunset. So uh, on to the next one. Laszlo Gier beating Gaia. we got Coria, great clay quarter against Millman. Uh, I'm going to go Coria. Yeah, me too. Easy for me. Uh, yeah. Milman, not sure how prolific he is on the clay courts. I don't think he's very good at all, in fact. So, Coria, easy pickings. I'm then going to have Coria to beat Zer, which is a bit of a shock. I not think me. I think Zer will be maybe the favourite, but yeah, I like Coria. Coria's up to 84th in the world at the moment, though. Yeah, exactly. Coria, Milman, I don't know. They're in both in terrible form, really, uh, at the moment. Milman on a five-match losing streak, but is on hard court. Corey, you'd expect him to have too much. I'd have Corey, if he manages to beat Milman, I think he beats Jair. Uh, and I'd have Massetti beating him. Yep, me too. So Massetti heading that little section. Yep. Moving down, Basvili, the fourth seed. Oh, He's no. got a buy through. His it's game terrible. doesn't really suit the Clay so much. Um, no idea on this section. Not going to lie. Oh, it's Quali hard because they're all qualifiers. So I'm actually going to go qualifier two and then going to go qualifier three. We've got to wait and find out who oh, these are. It. <laughs> and then I'm going to have Jal Souza knocking out Strap. I think the fifth seed is going to be going out early doors. That's a big call, that, mate. Jal yeah. Souza to beat What well, do you think he's back? I just don't know. I'm expecting a shock. It's just a random one, mate. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, might help me go top. Might make me go bottom. But it's what I'm going for. That's a big shout. That is a big shout. Uh, I might join you on your shout. Why not? Oh, he's doing it. He's feeling it. Hey, why not? That's like, rare. Let's, let's I wasn't give him, expecting that. Let's give him a. Let's give him a chance. He's coming back. I just want. I think he's been. Mate, he's not capable. Bad. Yeah, he's he's better on the clay courts probably than Struff. But Struff, I don't know. Struff will probably win. But I'm going to go Souza. Uh, and then Souza probably, I don't know. We don't know who the qualifier is. He goes out though. I think he's gonna. I'm, I'm hoping it's one of the better qualifiers, and I'm I'm gonna be backing them all the way. So I'll have qualifier three knocking out Souza. I'll have qualifier two then right. against qualifier three, and then I'll have qualifier two beating the qualifier three. Is what it yeah, is. What Moving Bass on. Really? We can't talk about Bassas Vili goes out and Souza goes out. So I'm gonna have the qualifiers dominating that little section. There's I'm four gonna... to choose from. I'm banking on one of them being good, and hopefully the one I pick. I'm going to have Basias Vili heading up this section. Nice. Yeah. Uh, moving on down, we've got Tommy Paul uh, against Yannick Hanfman. Uh, that's an interesting matchup. Yannick uh, likes it on the clay courts. He'll be happy to be back on them. Yep. Uh, Tommy Paul. I think I'm going to go with Yannick, actually, on this one. Yep, me too. Yannick Hanfman. I really like him on, on the clay courts. I think Tommy Paul's not going to be bad. Um, he'll probably still be the favourite for the match. Just going to go for Hanfman. 
Okay. We've had him on the podcast. It's a nice guy as well. Next one up, Thomas Fabiano. That name popping up again. He's got <laughs> a him. wild card. <laughs> up against Chechenato. I'm going to go Chechenato. Uh, I think Chechenato is just quality clay quarter. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Tough to pick between those in the next round, though. Chechenato, Hampman. Uh, I really don't know on that one. I think it all depends on Hampman serving that day if it was those yeah. two to play. Uh, I'd, I'm, I'm, it's in Italy. Okay, go with that. Remember, you're in Italy. Okay, I'm going Chechenato based on that. Travaglia, Simon. Travaglia for me. Uh, I'm going to go Hampman to beat Chechenato. I'm then going to go... Big shout, that, man. Gil Simon, Travaglia. Yeah, Travaglia in Italy. Uh, yeah, Travaglia in Italy, setting up an all-Italian affair. Sonego, Travaglia. I'm actually going to go Travaglia there to beat Sonego. Wow, here he goes. Now he's coming with the big picks. I'm going to go Sonego. <laughs> all right, interesting. And then Cecinato versus Travaglia. I think actually going to go Cecinato, I think. I've got Sonego Hanford, and I'm going to have Sonego. Interesting. Sonego could well head yeah. up that part of the draw. Uh, I don't doubt it. I think the winner, well, I don't know. Travaglia, Cecinato, I think that could go. It's just these Italians playing each other. I think there could be some up, upsets in those matches. Yeah, that's true. So moving on down, Guido Pella against uh, Igor Gerissimo. <laughs> Uh, Pella hasn't been great of late, has he? No. Uh, Jerusalem better, but I haven't seen him on the clay since what French Open was it when he lost yeah. to him the Dowin Straits? He played well. That's I'm gonna one. go based off that performance I saw him against Nadal, where I was actually impressed. I was like, oh, he's actually playing quite well against him. I'm gonna go Jerusalem off. Might go Pella just, okay. just, just for history on clay. Uh, but Denny Zeppieri, that's an interesting one. Are we going to see an upset? Are uh, Aljos Badeni, how is he on the clay courts? Uh, he's surely got enough, has he, to beat Zeppieri? I would have thought so. I'm gonna go Badeni. I'm gonna go Zeppieri. Oh, <laughs> come shot. on, yeah, the young Italian. In. I, like him. I really up. like him. He just <laughs> turned up to the stream, and I'm gonna go, uh, Badeni to beat Pella. That's a big shout as well, because surely Pella's better. But I just it's just on form and lack of match play. Next one's interesting. Vesely Martin. Martin hasn't played well recently, but before he I would have given that as a closer match. I'm gonna go Vesely. Mm, I went Vesely last time. Do you remember we both did and he went out? Yeah. But this is on the clay court. So he can be quite good. Andrew Martin's pretty solid as well. I'll go Vesely <laughs> just because this is the last chance. This is his last chance, basically. The yeah, last yeah. chance I'm giving Yuri Vesely, and then I'm done with him. <laughs> done with him. What about uh, Fritz Vesely? It'll be a tough match to call if Vesely's playing his best tennis. Uh, I'm going to go Fritz. Fritz as well. Yeah. And then uh, I'm going to have Fritz Zapieri, and I'm going to have Fritz head in that little section. Yeah, I think Fritz. He's come on leaps and bounds in his game uh, this year. Uh, I'm hoping it's going to be the same uh, in all aspects yeah. of it on the clay as well. Agreed. So, moving on up. Oh, 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 come on. Don't do that to me again. Right. All right. Okay. It's done the same thing that it always bloody does. All right. I'm just going to move through. <laughs> I'll just move. It's all right. You can share it again. It's fine. No, that's good. I'll let you just do them. Um, I just want to say, guys, if you haven't been able to join this website, please check it out. It's completely free. You can compete against me and Ben on there. Uh, the link is in the chat. No, not in the chat. Sorry. It's in the description. I was going to put it in the chat, but I don't have it right now to hand. But you just search on the leagues. You find Game to Love. Put your email in. It's completely free. And yeah, you can challenge against me and Ben. We'll give out some prizes here and there. And you yep. can see how well you can do. Exactly right, mate. I just got to be careful with my swiping of my uh, fingers now when I've moved to the next uh, sections. Right, okay. So good. I think back. you've done it. So right at the top, I have. Is this the semi-finals? Yes, yeah, so the semi-final at the top. I've got Massetti versus a qualifier. It's ridiculous. I don't know who the qualifier <laughs> is. A qualifier. Still going to go a... Massetti. <laughs> I can't even remember who my qualifiers were. I just picked random ones again going down. <laughs> I don't even know. I've probably shot myself in the foot now. I'll have to go back and rewatch the uh, the stream. Uh, 
Massetti Basiasvili, mate. That's that's more like a final for me. Than really, it is a... mate? Why are you bigging him up so much? This Basiasvili now. He's had one mean? good match against Federer, and you've lost the plot. What? What do you mean one good match? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm just trying to get in your head. <laughs> well, I'm going to go Massetti. <laughs> oh, Massetti I thought he's really good. Why don't you put Basiasvili through then? All right, chill. Uh, Chechenato <laughs> Fritz. I oh, have yeah, Fritz. So we'll have Massetti Fritz final. Mm, I'm going to go Senegal to beat Fritz. All right. So I'm having an all Italian final in Italy. Right. Lorenzo Massetti. Is it Lorenzo Senego as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so the Lorenzo. Battle of the Lorenzos. I've got an all Lorenzo final. <laughs> oh <my> God, <laughs> the double yeah. L, hopefully not for losses. So Lorenzo to win it, yeah? Yeah, Lorenzo's <laughs> winning. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> I'm being told I'm developing bad bracket habits now. <laughs> What picking Massetti to go through all the way? Uh, I think if Massetti gets all the way there, then surely he's got to win it, hasn't he? I'm going Massetti to win the tournament. Yeah, mate. Come on, Lorenzo. So that means we. I'm both... going to cheer on both Lorenzos because if Sonego wins, at least I'll do all right as well. So all I can guarantee from that one is because uh, we both picked the same player again, uh, which they're probably not going to go out in the first round now. So that's uh, good. We've done it again. Well, that's done, that one, bro. Ruined. <laughs> yeah, well done us again. George saying we're all on the Massetti hype train. I'm pretty confident Thomas Rock's there as well. Um, but yeah, let's just see how it goes. It's going to yeah. be an interesting one, to say the least. On to Marbella, over yeah, to let's, Spain. Let's get on to that one, mate, before it gets too late. I know it's getting a... Uh, and George saying we're all on the Massetti hype train. It'd be interesting to say, everyone's saying it. But we wait and see when we see those picks when the brackets are confirmed, how many people are really on it. So, yeah, and Jay Genius comes through again. <laughs> Mate, I, I don't know why I get so much love. I'm pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> you won that one bracket, mate. Yeah, but you know, it's weird how people like... Liam's yeah. going with Fabiano to win the whole thing. Wise <laughs> oh. choice. Wise choice. You're his new favourite player, so I'm told. Yeah, he loves a bit of Fabiano. Fabiano. So anyway, we're moving over to Marbella where there's no carbs allowed before this tournament because this is the tournament of the Slim, the slim Gyms. We've got... Do we know <laughs> who the qualifiers are for this one? That's the big question. I don't think so. I don't think we I, know. I believe it's the same scenario. We don't know who the qualifiers yeah. are, but I can Laxman's tell you... Laxman's qualified. Do you have the list there? Let me... I'll Laxman, go through the list. I've got the Justino. list. Oh. Okay, Stevie Diaz from Canada. Zabata Morales is qualified in Gosh. style as well. Donskoy, absolutely. Oh, he's played against uh, yeah. Bjorn Borg's son. Oh, God, what's right. he doing? We, no, right. like, we can have another <laughs> podcast on this all, all together. It's an absolute disgrace. Because his name's Borg, he's playing in all these tournaments. Just scrap it. He's not good at tennis. How is he in there? He, just, he lost six months. Because of his name. He's, his he's, he's not good enough. I suppose Don Square allowed him a game. He's just not good enough. He's simply not good enough. He might become good, but until that happens, no, stop giving him entries into tournaments, even through qualifiers. He gets wild cards here and there as well. Know, it winds me up. Him. And it just it's just not right. It shouldn't happen in the sport. No, I agree. But mate, we need to no, know. What, where... No one wants to see it. Who wants to see someone get go out in about half an hour after getting battered six love, six love? Oh. Well, Donsko wanted to see it. He's now in the main draw. <laughs> no, nah, but even still, mate, it's just a it's just lack of integrity. Well, well, I, I want to see top players playing. Where qualifiers are, mate, because these qualifiers... Well, it's not Berg. I'll tell you that for sure. I need or Borg, to, sorry. Borg, yeah, I need to know which qualifiers are where in the draw because these qualifiers are very good. Well, and... Milijevic, he's just won a challenger in really convincing fashion against some really top players. He's qualified. Vilela so, Batty Martinez. Morales as well. And Vilela Martinez is playing mm. really well as well. Beat he's... Huang today. Mate, it, there's some quality qualifiers in this one. And Golbis, Zabatamara has absolutely battered him. 6-2, six, 6-1. Six, That's crazy. So, always got to keep your eye out for uh, Laxanen. He's there. Yeah, that's his name. It's Leo. Leo Borg. I remember now. Yeah, mate. Less said about No him time about. for Leo. No. Right. So, move away from him. And let's just have a look at the actual, uh, this top section. we got Pablo Carreño Abusta. Up against one of two qualifiers, I've no idea. Well, he's the number one seed, number two seed, Fabio Fanini, just to Ooh. put it into perspective. So, Buster against the qualifiers, we don't know, just put random what 
surely Perenio Buster is going to beat whoever this is. Yeah, but the next one, mate, is the all Argentinian oh. affair. One of my favourite players. I did a whole podcast on Francisco Serendolo. You've got yep. his brother Juan Manuel Serendolo. Is he in yep. here? I don't know, mate. Don't I see him. The draw yet, mate. Don't see him. I don't think he's there. So we've just got Francisco here. He's going to have a tough one to start off with with Bagnis. He's been playing really well. Started the year strong. Very good on the clay courts. I've got to go with my boy Francisco Serendolo. I hope there's a few more of you who are backing him as well because he's certainly capable. No, but Bagnis is not. The, I, he is burned Baggy me. Bagnis. He's burned me. Man, don't do it. Times. Me and you are going to fall out if you pick Bagnis. Mate, you know I don't want to pick Bagnis, but Bagnis got to the final. Don't say, are you going to do it or not? Because I need to see what you're going to do here. He got to the final in, uh, where was it? In Santiago against Garin. He knocked out Del Bonis, Jair, TFO, Chetanato. <sighs> Who has Serendolo really beaten so far? Mate, make your pick. <laughs> Gonna go back. Oh, no. That's a disgrace. Honestly, I hope you lose this whole thing and come bottom. Oh, God, here we go. I'm wishing you to come bottom now. That's Mate, it. I no. hope he loses, but I'm going to go Bagnus based upon recent form. Okay, so uh, Holger Rune versus Kwon Soon. Ooh, both like players, both players playing really well. Actually. Rhyming it up, mate. Nice. Yep. Uh, I'm going to go Kwon Soon, though. Why? Because he won um, the Biela Challenger and beat Massetti? Yeah, that's why. I remember now. <laughs> yeah, good idea. You reminded me. <laughs> yep. Well, he beat Donskoy as well. So if he comes up against him, he should be all right as well. So uh, I reckon that Bagnus beats him, though. I'm going to go okay. Bagnus. Uh, I'm going to have Francisco Serendolo beating Kwon Su. And then Kalenia Buster, I'll have beating Bagnus. He's a and then I'm going to have Serendolo beating Buster. Mm. Come on, Francisco. Oh, God, here we go. Francisco. Francisco. Someone... Excuse me. Can someone get JG his medication, please? <laughs> <laughs> He's got it, mate. I'm just texting the surgery Look, as now. As you I've no. said, Serendolo beat the informed Benoit pair. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, mate. They're on their way over now. Don't worry. They'll, you'll, they'll get to you soon. Get you that. Get you those tablets. <laughs> he's, he's doing it, okay? So let's move on to the next right, section. Okay. We've got Ramos Vinolas. He's got the buyer. Oh, Brankis God, versus Pwil. I think Pwil just had a kid. He's probably going to be very preoccupied with all that stuff going on. I don't think his mind's been on tennis. I'm going to go Brankis on that reason alone. Interesting reasoning there from JG about his selections. Uh, I don't know if I even rate Barankis that much, but on the clay, but I rec rate him probably more than Puy. I think Puy is better on the hard. Uh, I reckon Ramos Vinolas beats Barankis, though, if I'm honest. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go Ramos Vinolas there to beat Barankis. I'll have Gombos to beat Londero. <laughs> Why? I've Why? got to go for Gombos. You don't have to go for Gombos. You don't know what it's He's just thinking. got a hold over me. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Surely he's, a, he's a guy who burns me on every every uh, draw preview. However, I still pick Gombos. He and beat, that's not going to change now, Ben. Okay? He beat Borna Chorich in the French Open. So. Who, Gombos? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Mate, well, I'm going to go. Londera's on a four-match losing streak. It's got to end soon. So I'm you're going, going for the Gom as well? I'm going oh, Londera. No, I see it's going to end soon. All oh, right, okay. Got you. You're going for the get too excited if I'm picking the gomb. <laughs> <laughs> right, Del Bonis, mate, the guy who's notoriously ruined my brackets before. Uh, he's uh, on a four match losing streak. No, he's not. Sorry, apologies. That was the gomb, gomb boss and uh, the other one. Sorry. I'm just going to the next one. Carbias Boehner and uh, Del Bonis have both lost their last two matches. Uh, Kabayas Boehner is saying here, is he a, he's not, he's saying he lost to Laxanen 2 1. Is that correct? Don't In Marbella? Well, I'm going to have to have a look at the qualifications now. Bear with me one second. Um, did, did he lose to Laxanen in the qualifications? I didn't think I saw. That's a bit, but anyway, it must be another tournament or something. I don't know. Yeah, so he lost to Laxanen last, he lost to Lama before that. So, I I'm going to go Del Bonis, mate. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go Del Bonis, and then going to have Gombos to beat Del Bonis. 
Oh, and God. Ramos Vanola <laughs> to head the section. I'm going Del Bonis. Oh, not these two. <laughs> Out of all the people to play each other, Del Bonis versus Ramos. I can think of a worse pairing. So people it's who just, destroy it, brackets. I think whoever calls this section, you're a genius because yeah, anything's just, possible. Literally my worst nightmare picking between these players. So the gomb, as Jordan has said, yeah, that's it. The gomb, mate, he's the man. <laughs> The gomb, the gomb boss. <laughs> What's Jordan saying? If you're aiming for the middle of the net, I oh, know it's George saying. Right, let's go a bit quicker, hey, mate. He just did the draw. <laughs> I know. Feliciano Lopez, Tara Daniel. I'm going the Lopes. Um. Oh God, here we go. I'm gonna go Tara Daniel. Oh, why? Just gonna go Tara Daniel. All right, Alcaraz versus a qualifier. I'm going Alcaraz. Yep, I'm going to have Alcaraz as well. This could be a really good tournament for him. Marbella, Spain, Alcaraz. Oof. Oof. Wild card. I think he Look. played in it last year. Was it on last year? I know he played a good event in Spain. Can't I forget when it was, that. but he was Literally. pretty solid. Might have been a challenge. I might be getting confused. Um, regardless, he, he won it. So I'm going to go Alcaraz. Uh, he won, definitely won a challenger there, which yeah, is quite comfortable. So. Kukushka, Mega. I'm going to go Mega to beat Kukush. Yeah, yeah, for sure, mate. I'm going him. He's a good clay call. Oh, Kasper Rude's in. Yeah, wow, here Kasper he is. Rude. My man. That's it. I'm going to go Alcaraz to beat Lopez and then Rude Alcaraz. That's the tie of the tournament so yeah. far, I've seen. Yeah, definitely. That's one if we can do a live watch long for. I'm going to be there 100%. Kasper Rude, Carlos Alcaraz. It's hard to call, but I think Alcaraz, he's still not quite there. He could do it. I think it's a close one, but I'm going to go Kasper Ruud. Yeah, for me, I think he's got more experience, more Grand Slam experience, big match experience. Ruud, he's still on the up as well. So that could be a close one, though. Uh, yep. Davidovich Fokina against Damir Jamur. Mate, I'm going to just put it out there. This bottom half is ridiculous. Much much better. Like All the best players are down here. Yeah, no but... offence to the top. Well, Dan, no, is that the other tournament I'm thinking of? God, I'm getting confused with all these tournaments now. But the quality in the middle is not very good compared to what we're seeing right here. Like looking at these names down the bottom eight, say you've got Fakina, Zmer, uh, Vasca, Pedro Martinez, qualifier, Munar, and Fonini on clay yeah. court. So they can't really get much better. All for me, pretty awesome players. I'm, it's pretty obvious what I'm going for here. I'm going for an all Spanish trio here. I'm going all Spaniards go through Davidovich, Fakina, Pedro Martinez, yeah. and Jal Munar. Yeah, me uh, too, mate. Tough. Next picks are tough. Uh, I'll tell you that. Um, well, let me see if this helps you. I'm actually going Fakina's going out. I'm going to go Pedro Martinez, knocks him out. That's big. Fakina's better on hard court. That's big, mate. That I think it's I well, Pedro Martin has been. Well, he's probably not. Good. He's good on he's, he's probably good on both, but I know he's really he's, I think if he was on a hardcore, I'd go for Kina every all day. I love like it. I'm gonna go Pedro Martinez. I agree with you. Pedro Martinez on the clay and in Marbella as well. Yeah. Yeah. This one's as tough to call for me. Jal Munar on his day is really good. Fanini can have off days regularly. So <laughs> I don't know which Fanini is it. Is it the yeah. Fanini who can beat Rafa on the down clay, or is it the Fanini who just doesn't even care? For me, I'm going for Fanini to have, make a little bit of a comeback. Actually, I think he's going to beat Manar and Pedro Martinez. He's going to have. I'm going to have him head in the bracket. This little section, which is a complete shock. I know it's not because he's the he second seed, and he should be doing it on clay courts. But he's not. To it, he's not been playing like that. So I'm just going to go for it anyway. Hey, Oli Paton's in. How you doing, bro? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go for Nini just based on power. I think he might be able to overpower Munar. As long as he doesn't hit too many unforced errors, he should be able to power him off the court. This one for me, for Nini Pedro Martinez, a little more tricky. Uh, I'm going to go Pedro Martinez. Okay. Yeah, I've gone for Nini. So that sets up our semi finals. At the top, I have Francisco Serendolo. Versus Ramos Vinolas. Nice. Which is mental. And at the bottom, I've got Kasparud Fanini. I can confirm from the top, I'm going to have Francisco Serendolo <laughs> going to the final. <laughs> it's going to be it's, uh, it's going to be a shocking one, but 
call me an idiot, call me crazy. If it happens, I'm a genius. Right. Well, yeah, exactly. It's one of those, isn't it? Similar to the Massetti one in the last one. Karenio Buster. Uh, I've got him beating Ramos Vanolas. We move on down, and I've got Casper Rude, Pedro Martinez. I'm going Casper Rude. So my final is going to be. It's going to be Casper Rude versus uh, Karenio Buster. Yep, and I'm going to have Casper Rude beating Fanini. Casper Rude versus Serendolo in the final, and Casper Rude takes it. I've gone in with Casper Rude. I can't believe we're picking the same people. What was that? Is that the third one that we've got the same winner on? This is annoying. I'm getting annoying now that well, we're having the same winners on all <laughs> of these. Maybe we'll get one more actually come through. Oh, we've just cursed three players. We want to win <laughs> we've just the ruined three tournaments. Oh, the three players we actually like as well. I was hoping you were having Serendolo winning because then no, I mate, might I stand can't. Up. I can't. I can't. He's, mate, he's done well to get to the final, put it that way. He's going to win it now. After all that, now he's going to win it. Now you've I think it's fair to say everyone knows who my dark horse is going to be. It's got to be Serendolo as the unranked. And then my main pick is going to be Casper Rude. Let us know in the chat who your uh, dark horse and main pick is. Yeah, I'm going to pick a little. I suppose you didn't go for Gombos. <laughs> but, you can uh, have Alcaraz. Nah, I don't think I'm going to have Alcaraz. <laughs> Pedro Martinez. I'm, I'm not mad at his route, though, if I'm honest, Alcaraz. His route, if he gets past Rude, then he could face potentially. I don't know. Yeah, why not? I'll have Alcaraz. I think if he gets a good route, if he beats Casper Rude, could be an interesting tournament for him. Yeah, nice one. Well, that concludes the draw bracket previews. Thanks for joining us, guys. If you haven't oh. already, please like the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. It's getting quite late here in the UK. Definitely. We've done a lot of podcasting today. We didn't expect to do the men's one as well. It's supposed to be for tomorrow night, but it's been brought forward to get the brackets in in time. Uh, good luck, everyone. We've got George there saying Rue PCP would be a great final. I would agree. That would be pretty awesome. It's kind of the more expected one. I think that's the one Ben's got to. Um, and then we've got Abassa saying main pick Rue, Dark Horse Bagness. Fair play. Nice. Melee's going for the dark horse. Alcaraz. Thomas Rock thanking the GTL. You're part of it, mate. <laughs> we love you too. Uh, it, and Melee's saying rune favourite. But yeah, Ooh. let's see how it goes. It all kicks off tomorrow. We've got the women's ones and the men's. If you haven't checked out our women's draw preview, go check that out. Uh, like this one as well. Really does help us out. And we'll see you very soon for some more recaps of tournaments and, and live watch longs. Indeed. Yeah, guys. Appreciate you all. See you on the next one.